Hi, welcome to Healthy Lifestyle with Araldo, a show dedicated to helping you live a longer and healthier life while giving you the inside scoop on all the latest fitness, health, and lifestyle trends. And of course, most importantly, having fun while doing it. So let's get right to it. My first guest is a television and movie producer who has created a comedic web series called The Other F Word. Jimmy's an ass man. <laughs> Classy men usually are. I'm not doing it for a man. A couple times a day? What kind of message is that sending your son? You're right, she's only a freshman, there's time. Is there? Is it safe? I mean, mm, Mexico. What are you two talking about? Hello, Amy, we did spring break. Uh, Fort Lauderdale. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Fort Lauderdale, Florida. But it's This whole thing is running really late. I can't blame you. Or her? Blame is wrong. <laughs> How many of your over-the-top Pleasure Island kitty parties I've had to endure? Uh, over the top! Hugh Jackman serenaded you at your birthday party. True, but he's got Jenna! <laughs> what? what is wrong with you? You look like someone just died. We dropped off Kelsey at college today. And she's here to tell us all about it. Please help me welcome Keitha Gentis. Hi, Keitha. How are you? Hello. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you for coming. So um, tell me a little bit about yourself and why you wanted to start a, your own show. Well, I mean, a little background mm -hmm. is that um, I had worked in the movie business and then okay. got out of it to raise children, then Aww. had a little midlife crisis and started making movies mm -hmm. and was looking for a new project. Okay. And, uh, you know, originally I was writing to run away and then all of a sudden huh. I started looking inside and I found that, you know, my kids were getting older. Right. I was getting older, turning 50 and... You're 50. Oh, my God, you look fantastic. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, 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 honestly, really. No, yeah, no, thank I'm you. sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's all good. No, it's, <laughs> please, please, please cut keep me going. Off. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, I'm sorry. And so your kids, right? Yeah, so there, and I was like, said, wow, like, I was looking for a new project. So right. I've done these three films, and then I was like, you know, what would be, what do I want to tackle next? Mm -hmm. And, you know, shows like Girls were on the air, and I'm like, oh, my God, here are these four kids right. in, you know, these young women in Brooklyn trying to figure out themselves. And I'm like, mm -hmm. wait, we're their parents. We've shipped our kids to Brooklyn, and right. we're trying to figure ourselves out. And I thought, like, I saw, like, so many changes that were happening to my friends and myself um, with turning 50, with our kids getting older, and I thought right. it was just a great uh, stage of life to, you know, explore. Right. So tell me about the show then. Well, so yeah, like I wanted to follow that, and uh -huh. like the F does stand for 50, but it also stands for friendship and right. fun. Fun, right. fun, which is the most important, because uh -huh. fun never gets old. That's right, never, and, uh, never. I'm a kid, so. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> young at heart. So <laughs> right. um, I wanted to create four women, because again, following the Sex in the City model, mm -hmm. or the girls, or you know, and there's a Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce, these shows, I wanted to come up with women. Right. So um, the main story is, this, is uh, about a woman who is a kind of a stay-at-home mom, whose kids are going to college, mm -hmm. And I wanted to kind of give her the biggest restarting journey, so right. um, I wanted to do something different. So her husband actually announces that he's joined the Peace Corps. Okay. So she's now kind of a mom who's not really a mom because her kids are in college. Right. She's married, but she's not. And he right. sort of challenges her because it's his kind of find himself. And he's like, no, you can't come with me. You've got right. to figure out who you are. Right. So I wanted to kind of strip her of everything she knew to start on this kind of journey and sort of ask that question, because I think people secretly would be like, oh, wouldn't it be cool to take like a little vacation from my right. marriage for a year? <laughs> right. <laughs> but it is a little bit of a crisis for her. Uh -huh. So that's kind of my main story of her kind of coming of age, of finding who she is, because she's happily married. Okay. Uh, but now all of a sudden, you know, like she's completely lost of her own identity. So okay. she's got to figure out who she is. Okay. Um, and then she moves in with her sister, who's mm -hmm. the middle-aged person who has the career and is this fabulous person that never right. found the right one. Okay. Um, and then my other woman is like, I want to do kind of like the, the helicopter mom. Helicopter and, mom. Yeah, you know, like the woman whose life is her kids and she's right, got right, the perfect right. kid and the perfect okay. family. Right. So her daughter goes to college and she enrolls at, into 
um, like college to basically take off mm. her kids' classes. And right. so that's kind of a fun story about this mom returning to college mm. and then being controlling and her daughter sort of spreading her right. wings. So how much of yourself is in this? Well, I feel like I'm a little bit in everybody because then I have the wild one who's the one that jumps out of the airplane. The airplane. <laughs> yeah, we have did that. <laughs> I, you know, I've always wanted to do that. Uh, at the last minute, I always change my mind, but I've always wanted to jump out of an airplane. Though. Yeah, I'm all about this like fearless living. Right. But mine is like make a web series, not right. jumping out of a plane. <laughs> well, which it is, and you're just jumping out and doing something, exactly. right? That's you're taking true. a risk anyway. So. Exactly. So, so. Um, but yeah, no, but we shot, I mean, that was the coolest thing. I mean, we shot the uh, skydiving scene, so, you the, know. Literally right out of the, you know. Out no. of the airplane, really? Possibly. Yeah. Oh my God! I got my actors to jump out of a plane for me. Oh my God! Uh, so, um, what it's what, the feedback? Are you be getting some of the positive feedback on the show yet? Or? Yeah. Well, so we're releasing it um, online uh -huh. in September. But I mean, it was like I really was like, yeah, these are experiences that I saw, and right. I started to reach out to all these people in the community and the people who are online. Um, and magazines mm -hmm. writing about midlife experience, and I found that I wasn't alone, and that's what made it important. And I've shared, you know, the pre-cut, you know, right. or rough cut, and people are like really excited because they're like, "Yeah, no, this is about me. I relate to these stories. I want to know what happened to these people." And and again, following a little bit of the Sex and the City model, I really wanted each one to be like, "Oh, I'm an Orly. I'm an Amy." So right. you know, so each woman could kind of connect with somebody. Mm. But we do actually the kids because, as we know we're very attached to our kids. I mean, the, yes. the kids are very much a part of the show as well. Uh, yeah, so um, so what is 40 Days of 40? Yeah, so I said 40 Days of 40, because as you know, I'm in my 50s, uh -huh. was just my way, like I called it like Eat, Pray, Love, Kate the style. Okay. Where I kind of was like, because everybody's like, oh my God, that 50th birthday. Right, right, right. And it I, is. That's what I did, you know, oh my God, 50th, you know. Wait, you're 52? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, well, I, you knew that. I you? had no idea. Oh, you know, it's the makeup, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we could totally go out together. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Get proof. <laughs> That's the most embarrassing thing, right? Would like, please That's don't right. ask me for my idea. But anyway. Yes. Um, so any other question? <laughs> the 40, oh, 40, 40, 40 yes. 40. <laughs> so I was like, okay, instead of like dreading that big day, mm -hmm. I wanted to embrace the last 40 days in my 40s. Okay. So I just was like, I'm going to make each day count. Mm -hmm. I want to connect with people that really are meaningful in me, to me and, and kind of start this sort of fearless life. Right, like right. just let nothing stand my way so I can like make each day special as okay. I get closer to 50. Well, listen, Kate, I, I, I wish we had more time, really do, but I, I, it's interesting, and, and, I, and I think it's going to be a great hit, actually. I, I think a lot so. of people are going to start watching it. Good luck to you. Thank and you. And tell us, tell us more about it, okay? Okay. Soon. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> Thank so much. You. All right. All right, guys, still ahead, from midlife crises to menopause, ahead find out some women may be experiencing symptoms of menopause even before going through the change. We'll explain what we mean after the break.